We are pleased to be joined by Jack Curry, and of course, Jack has a, a lot for us. And Jack, let's start with uh, Gary Sanchez. What do you got on J Gary? I know he's he's been dealing with that bad back. Right, Kenny. That back issue stems from last week when he caught back-to-back -back games on Thursday and Friday. He has not played since then. He was scheduled to have a batting practice session today, and when he did not appear on the field, we knew something was up. And the Yankees later disclosed that. He had a fever today and wasn't feeling well, and he had not arrived at the facility he was going to get examined. The Yankees have not given a further update on what Sanchez's status is yet. I'm sure we will get that later today. Aaron Boone had previously said he hoped to have Sanchez back in the lineup by Friday, but we'll have to learn whether or not this fever that he has sustained, if that will slow down his progress into getting back in the lineup. Now, another thing that's been going on here at the Steinbrenner Field and throughout Major League Baseball, Major League Baseball is trying to figure out how to deal with this coronavirus, and I know there's been some changes made at Steinbrenner Field. There have been, Kenny, and you're right. It's Major League Baseball, it's the NHL, it's the NBA, and it's the MISL, four leagues all releasing a statement last night saying that their clubhouses and locker rooms would now be closed to all but players and non-essential personnel. The Yankees obviously part of that, and in talking with the Yankees this morning, Jason Zillow, their media relations director, met with the media about how the Yankees are going to proceed going forward. They were going to make players available outside of the clubhouse, and there were going to be a lot of group interviews because the players aren't going to be, we're not going to be into the clubhouse. Now, obviously, the coronavirus and its impact, that's the important thing here. They're, they don't want that to spread. They don't want the fear of that happening. So that's the headline. But there has been some adjustments involving both the media and Yankee personnel. It's not just reporters who are not allowed in the clubhouse. There are also people within the Yankee organization who are not allowed in the clubhouse. Now, how's that? The, you know, you were reported one time and one of the best. How's that going to affect the job of um, the reporters and how they can get their jobs done? Yeah, I think it's a it's a tricky issue, Kenny, because you're used to having that access, and and the way you report on stories and the way you get the best stories is to have the access and to build those relationships and sustain those relationships. Again, I think the fact that we're dealing with. Uh, a virus here that is a global situation that's what MLB is focused on I talked to an MLB official who said we would not be able to look ourselves in the mirror if we didn't enact something like this and then a player did contract coronavirus so I think going forward it just means you have to be more intrepid you have to lean on the relationships that you already have and work on getting the best stories possible but again it's it's about the health issue and trying to make sure that this doesn't become an issue in Major League Baseball. Uh, I think reporters are going to have to be a little bit uh, more creative maybe uh, pick up some cell phone numbers along the way so <laughs> I'd be able to talk to players. Uh, we're, we're already doing that Kenny. Yeah. We're, we're, we're already texting and we're already doing that but there were a couple of lighthearted moments today with, within a serious situation. Aaron Boone actually poked his head out of the clubhouse and saw the cluster of reporters this morning and almost said sorry it, 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 the rules are the rules but he came out and spoke in a playful manner and then Aaron Judge as well stopped and spoke to reporters and talked a little bit about the situation and how everyone is dealing with it. So it's an adjustment for everyone. It's, it's an adjustment for anyone who works in and around Major League Baseball trying to deal with something that was just released last night. It's an evolving situation, and I think the Yankees, like all teams, will figure out how they're going to handle it specifically going forward. All right, two outs, a ball and two strikes on Zach Granite. And that's upstairs for ball. Now, Jack, can this be something you see playing out in the future? Is uh, understand that they've made these changes now. Do you think these changes will continue? It's a great question, Kenny, and, and that question will be answered by people who are at a much higher level on the uh, totem pole than I am. But you you understand why Major League Baseball and the other professional leagues are trying to do this. They're trying to be as careful and as cautious as possible. 